Hi friends, how are you? I'm thinking about you. I'm at home too, and uh, I'm just playing around with some things. Uh, we can't build our stuff like we do in the projects lab, but we can um, we can learn about some of the tools and some of the tricks that uh, that we use all the time. And today I want to talk about something called a simple machine. And there's seven different kinds of simple machines, but the one we're going to talk about today is the lever. And a lever is something that can help you move things. And uh, when we do get back into class, I'll show you with a big one. But today I'm just going to use a ruler and a pencil and some quarters. I got a stack of quarters. You know what a quarter is, right? 25 cents. About the simple machines, a simple machines are tools. And what tools do is tools give us an advantage. They make us stronger than we are. We can do all kinds of things. Like you could never push a nail in with your thumb, but if you're using a hammer, it's giving you an advantage. And believe it or not, a hammer is a kind of a lever too, because uh, the motion and it, it whacks things. Anyway, uh, and think about other tools and how they help you. So with the lever, what I'm going to do is show you about how a lever can give us that advantage. So I'm going to just turn this down here a little bit so you can see what's going on. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pencil and I'm going to put it right in there. This is, a kind of the pen, this is the kind of pencil that's not round. It's kind of, uh, it's flat on some edges. And I'm going to tape it down because... I found that it was rolling away a little bit, so I'm just going to tape it in place. That way it just won't roll when I'm, when I'm working with it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ruler and I'm going to try and balance the ruler. So the nice thing about a ruler is it's 12 inches and it's got a 6 in the middle and 6 is halfway. So I'm just going to try and balance it right in the middle. And this is kind of tricky. And you, but you can practice around with it, just tapping it, just getting it to balance all by itself. Can you guys see now how it's, it's leveled out in the middle? So right now, it's balanced. And so I'm not going to call it a ruler anymore. I'm going to call it the lever. And I'm not going to call the pencil a pencil anymore. I'm going to call it our fulcrum. Okay? So the lever is balanced on the fulcrum. And I'm going to put these quarters on. Now the quarters, what they do, because of gravity, is they push down with force. So they're going to be our force. So what I'm going to try and do first is see if I can get one quarter on each side to balance it out. This is, I don't know if you've ever been to, on a seesaw at the park, but that's what happens there. You get on one side and your buddy gets on the other and you balance each other out and you can go up and down. So I'm going to put one. What happens if I just put one on one side? Well, it definitely goes down and the other side goes up. Now I can push down here with some force and make that side go up. Right? But now I'm going to put another quarter on this side and see if the force of this quarter will make it balance out. Well, so it's not quite even. You'll find that when you're doing this, that little tiny movements of the quarters will make things change a lot. There, so now I've got two quarters and they're kind of balanced. This side's up a little bit higher than that side, but it's definitely off the ground. That's great. Can you do it with two quarters on each side? Definitely pushes down. That's like a bigger kid sitting on when you're on a little when you have a little kid on one side and a bigger kid on the other, and it's not fair. But we'll talk about that in a second. I'm gonna put the other quarter over here. Hey, it balanced out. That side's still a little bit lower, but it's pretty close. Okay, so let's talk about that problem where you've got a big kid on one side and a littler kid on the other side. And that happens. You know, it's, it's interesting, but if you move the lever to a different place on the fulcrum, it'll balance out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this side over. I'm going to actually move the, the ruler and see if we can get it to balance with two quarters on one side and one quarter on the other.
taking my time going very slowly. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. So it got to just about seven and a quarter. Let me see just a tiny bit more. But look at that. So when I'm at seven and just about a quarter here, it balances now. Isn't that interesting that there's two quarters on this side and one quarter on this side? Well, what changed? What changed is now we have more of the weight of the of the lever, of the ruler over here. So that's adding to the weight. There's also twice as much force pushing down on this side as there is pushing down on this side. So what I would like you to do is I want you to try and figure out with a few quarters, see how things change. Like for instance, if I put three quarters on one side, what will happen to that side? I'll just try that. And let's move it all the way over. I might have to move it all the way over to eight or so. Oh, look, eight's not quite right. There we go. So just about eight. Now I have three quarters on one side and one quarter on this side, and it's balanced. So what I want you to do is I want you to get a setup like this with a pencil and a ruler and some quarters, and I just want you to practice stacking things and see how much you, you can put on. It might be really fun to see how high you can stack on each side. I have a whole bunch of quarters, but you know, make, maybe you can make a, a big stack of five on one side or and five on the other side. So, so play around with the with this setup and uh, and just see what happens. It's a fun way to, to try and figure things out, and it's good practice for your fingers to move things around a little bit. And uh, I hope you enjoy it, and um, I hope to see you back at, so at school real soon. Thanks. Bye.